Happy Christmas Eve everybody when you are watching this it is Christmas Eve which means tomorrow is Christmas so Merry Christmas from me I always upload on a Monday and I was not gonna let Christmas stop me this time now Christmas we are supposed to be happy we are supposed to be jolly it's supposed to be this perfect amazing day and unfortunately, it doesn't work out like that for people with mental illnesses. We can never tell how we're going to feel. We do not know if we're going to wake up Christmas morning and we're going to be in a good mood for a change or if we're going to have a bad day. We cannot change the fact that we have a mental illness just because it's Christmas. Christmas is a day. Mental illness is a lifelong battle. So unfortunately, mental illness wins out over Christmas. But that doesn't mean we can't find ways to still enjoy it. Asking someone with a mental illness to enjoy a whole day is an impossible task. It's just, it's not going to happen. So instead of asking them to enjoy it, look for moments. Moments of happiness that you can hold on to throughout the day. You won't be sad the entire day. There will be moments where you find yourself smiling or moments where you find yourself bursting into laughter and those will be the moments you hold on to whether it's surrounded by family whether it's a christmas film doing whatever there will be little moments throughout the day that will make you smile that will make you feel something other than that negativity and those are the moments you should hang on for i am a big believer in taking a time out i love my family i really do but i cannot stand being around people for too long. I am a loner. I love my own company. I love being by myself. So I have to take regular breaks because even though they're my family and I love them, I can't physically be with them for a whole day. I need time out. I need time away to, you know, let that mask fall to sort of collect myself and to breathe and to just let my anxiety calm down and to just sort of, you know, relax before I join the madness again. Christmas for me is an act. It's like a show. My whole family is a Christmas family. They love it. I am the only one that is a Grinch. I don't like Christmas and it has gotten worse ever since I became mentally ill. And I do dread Christmas because my family love it so much and I am very much aware of the fact that I will be the one to bring a downer to it. I will be the one that will be putting a negative spin on it. So I feel like I have to pretend and put on this mask of happiness and joy and love and just that everything's perfect and well because they love it and they want it to be that way. So for me, Christmas is pretending and it's exhausting. And by the end of it, I am really tired and I need to be on my own where I can just let the mask fall off and I can just be myself. I can, you know, if I want to cry, I can cry. If I want to scream, I want to scream. If I just want to put on headphones and block out the world, I can do. Because you can only put on a mask for so long. But the most important thing I have learned over the last couple of years dealing with my mental illness and Christmases. Christmas is a day. When it comes down to it, it is a single day. That is all it is. It's a day with a fancy name. It's nothing more and it's nothing less. It's just a day with a name. And if I manage to get through every other Tuesday, I can get through this Tuesday with a special name. It doesn't require anything more. It doesn't require any special powers. It doesn't require anything else. It just requires me to get through a day. And I've got through how many days beforehand. So that means I can get through this. And if you keep that mentality in your head that Christmas is just your day and you have survived all these other days beforehand and it's just a Tuesday with a special name, it doesn't seem like such a big deal. I know how lonely Christmas can feel. You can be surrounded by people but still feel completely alone and isolated and just lost. So if you need somebody to talk to, if you feel like your mental illness is winning and you just, you need some positivity or you just, you need to get something off your chest, the group is open and I will be happy to help at any time over Christmas. Just give me a message. I truly hope you are able to find little moments throughout the day that you can enjoy 
and that you can find some love and laughter and just a bit of happiness over the Christmas period because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.